Hello and welcome to Parrot's training videos for the Anafi AI. In this video, we'll walk through the touch and fly mission found in Free Flight 7. Let's begin. First, let's navigate to the heads up display in Free Flight 7. From the bottom left corner, select the missions tab, then touch and fly. Touch and fly is as simple as touching the map, verifying the altitude and the speed, and then pressing the play button. However, you'll notice that you have to take off before you can use this function. Before flight, remember to calibrate update and ensure your aircraft is functioning properly. Now that our pre-flight checks are done, it's time to take off the aircraft. Once the aircraft is in a stabilized hover, the play button will illuminate, and you can activate touch and fly. You'll notice once touch and fly has been activated, the aircraft will proceed to the waypoint in a linear fashion. This means that it will not rise to the altitude beforehand, however rise to the altitude during the mission itself. Touch and fly mode also acts as a point of interest mode, meaning that the camera will stay fixed on wherever you select, and you can maneuver the aircraft around for that perfect shot. Likewise, whenever you drop a new waypoint on the map, the aircraft will automatically turn and look at that waypoint. To switch between the map view and the live camera view, simply tap on the smaller image in the right corner. While flying to a waypoint in touch and fly mode, you can still manipulate the camera's angle and zoom level. However, since the camera is looking at a fixed point, you will not be able to operate the yaw. To exit touch and fly, all we need to do is hit the stop button, or take over manually with the flight controls. You should now have a good understanding of the touch and fly mission found in the Free Flight 7 application. Thanks for tuning in to Parrot's training videos for the Nafi AI.